Welcome to Untold Reacts, the channel where I let untold stories be told to me. Today, we're jumping back in to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I will hold off on calling it Agents of Pain, or Agents of Feels, or Agents of God Help Me. <laughs> I'll hold off on that, all that today. <laughs> At least before the episode, we'll, we'll see how it treats me today. I don't know what to expect, let's get into it. Thank you to my patrons as usual, you guys get this early and get to see all of my agony an entire month ahead. So, enjoy! <laughs> and also thank you <laughs> for being here and wanting to see that. But let's get in to episode 8 of season 3. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot to talk about that last time actually, but that is curious because they've been sending people through the portal since way back in time as we saw. So it's intriguing that they're implying that that same group is now NASA, or at least above NASA controlling NASA, sending them to go through the portal still in present day. That's very intriguing. Oh, that's lovely. Symbols of Hydra. <laughs> You're one of the last heads of Hydra's old guard. Thanks in no small part to you. You should be thanking me. Trim the fat from your ranks. You're chasing rumors. Ghosts. Strucker family vault does not exist. Truthfully, I'd believe you. You had sacrificed the only heir to it. You <laughs> control the ball now. I will find that vault. You're a smart predator. But you don't live on top of the food chain. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, Ward, for once, I don't want you to die. Because it's got to be us that kills you. <laughs> you can't get out this easy. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> My god. Malik wanted me slaughtered, which means I'm on the right track. So you know where the vault is. Just don't know how to get in. We're not helping you. Who's on the bottom of the food chain now? Sadistic motherfucker. <laughs> so that's how we're starting it. So I wonder if all these guys are bad then, or if it's just Rosalind. Before that thing can completely take him over. <sighs> Anyone gonna talk to her? Everyone's probably scared too, to be honest. Understandably. <laughs> She'll talk when she's ready. Uh, don't let her internalize it too long. She does need Stop. somebody, damn it. <laughs> Stop. Go. If you drop another priceless manuscript, why don't you go to face a Picasso or something? <laughs> Fitz, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, well meaning idiots. <laughs> I think Will's distant star Pathfinder program hit it in the logo. About 200 years after the group studying the monolith. Uh. She's been giving me the hate stare since I got here. I'm sorry. I moved in. <laughs> I hope it's not weird. We kissed. That happened. Why don't we just see what happens? I feel like you're going to tell me I didn't make Little League All-Stars. It's Rosalind, sir. You can say it. Are you sleeping together? It's none of your business. I'm sorry to press, sir, but I need to know. Again, not your business. Uh, see, she's she playing an angle, though. Guy. If not, then it is my business. Because now you're bringing her, the head of the ATCU, into our hidden base. Easy, Mac. I like Roz. Whether she can be trusted, yet to be determined. The only spies without trust issues are either young or dead. I hope I can trust Roz. The rest of you will have to go behind her back. Today we're launching Operation Spotlight. The objective, to peer into every shadowy corner of the ATCU. S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to use that as a way to gain access. Going in on the ground will be by cool. Hunter. I want to know everything. What's inside the facility, how close they are to this cure they've been working on, which inhumans they're holding and where they came from. I think the head of the ATCU finally trusts me. I'd like that feeling to be mutual. Okay, so he's doing it to trust her, like a last-ditch effort to make sure he can trust her. So he does have feelings, I think, still. <laughs> okay, so I don't think I read him wrong. I think he does have feelings for her, but he doesn't quite know what she's doing yet. That's a cool-looking torch. Oh, God. You have to incorporate what you love into your work. Ugh. You see, the trick is... You want him to know it's gonna hurt. Build anticipation. Imagine a better world. That's fucked. You could walk in Strucker's vault with me. Ugh. He all you want, there's nothing to tell. He uses different people when he travels to Zepcal. Zepcal. Germany. He didn't know where it was? Yeah. Strucker has many vaults. I know them all. Just didn't know Zepcal was the one I needed. Jesus. Stay quiet. Would have fit in good with my man. <laughs> Ward is so goddamn sadistic. <laughs> Poor Coulson. Glad he's being cautious, but this side of it's not so cautious. <laughs> not exactly. Almost 
as cute as flying me in circles for six hours on a plane. I don't know if I'm in Albuquerque or Albania. Imagine the possibilities. I'd be flattered. You left your intelligence gathering phone at your apartment, didn't you? I almost didn't, but I thought it might be rude. Please. We expect nothing less. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Does she know who she's working with? Because she could think that he's still part of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I don't think so. I, I want to trust her for Coulson's sake, but I know I shouldn't at all. That's my favorite episode. I mean, Darlene was set up perfectly. Every word she said. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. You see that? FBI Cyber Investigative Task Force. How may I help you, Mr. Uh, Wilson? What exactly is going on over there? Well, multiple agency servers have been attacked in the last few minutes, and the track we've already uh, dispatched a rapid response unit to your location. Please cooperate. That's genius. I can assure you, <laughs> there are absolute best. Oh my God! <laughs> System shut out perfectly. Okay, we're showing signs of a breach. I don't think you'll be necessary, right? A glitch. Yeah, of course it looks like a glitch. That's the point. Crisis averted. Then go home. Never noticing the polymorphic rootkit buried deep inside your system. It's activated to <laughs> bypass that sweet stateless multi-factor authentication code i've seen this guy before I look he's on saturday night, night live or something I, I don't know like a show or movie i know him from so i'm not i don't know i'd have shot him by now listen our system is airtight if your system's so secure how'd your staff's credentials leak out what no 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 no, no, no. we haven't brought in anything except the uh Are they gonna blame Shield now? <laughs> so I think they're implying um, Andrew. Shield containment module we brought in. Dearest, is it possible that your containment module tried to access the ATCU system? Absolutely. It scans any local network it finds. Can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Their relationship is so weird. So play nice with the FBI's task force and fix it. You're lucky you're cute. We really have to figure out other ways to flirt. <laughs> Will wasn't sent on a mission. He was sacrificed. The symbol used for his space program tied to ritualistic blood sacrifice. That we never really know who's next to us. Man. Oh, God. You. you should keep me warm. Don't kill everybody, Ward. Oh, was he jumping? Don't hurt people on the plane for no reason. That's all I ask, Ward. Never ask anything from you. <laughs> Just don't... <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. There is an exit door, so don't do anything crazy. Gentlemen, Just go. <laughs> turbulence coming up. Don't be alarmed. Pilot diving to equalize cabin pressure before you freeze to death. From all of us here at Hydra, thanks for flying the friendly skies. Oh my god. It's intertwined with the origin of pagan devil myths. And then suddenly there they were, secretly funding NASA missions. It's just copious examples of how this group was evil and used Will as a blood offering. But if we can find out their goal, we can find out how they tried to achieve it. Something to help us bring back Will. You have to stop. Uh. Just stop trying to do all the right things, it's too much. Uh, <laughs> I think she hates seeing him try so much for her, knowing. Ugh. <laughs> 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 they recruit you out of college? History. I started to inadvertently uncover how much of that history Shield had helped to shape. So they snatched me up. <laughs> That's really cool. Never known anyone in Shield? Only in passing. You no, know, I hate to disappoint you, Phil, but until recently I was in the normal intelligence game, not paranormal. You're my first. Digital world is to infiltration. <laughs> oh my God! And they have all computers in here. Makes you feel violated, doesn't it? You know he's not just looking for exploits to get into our system. When C colon forward slash system forward slash request user. Hunter. Oh, God, Hunter. Please tell me you know which one is forward slash. Yes. Typing. Helping your sluggish code keep up. Hilarious. And the username. God save the queen. Let him pick it. <laughs> May said she wants you with her on this. Yeah, I suggest you move your ass. <laughs> Don't be mad at Lincoln. He can't help that he's inhuman. All right, it's nothing to do with Andrew. <laughs> I'm worried. I want to give him my full report. This guy seems so stressed out. All Hunter has to do is run his mouth and waste time. Oh, he excels at that. <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> It'd be so cool to take off from a plane on a plane. <laughs> Are you seriously mad at me? 
I'm mad at myself for roping you into this. It's not fair. Well, get angry. I cannot fathom any way out of this without hurting someone I care about. Do you think that I'm not angry? I'm sick to my stomach. Not at you, because we are cursed. The bloody cosmos wants us to be apart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. You only mention it at the bottom of the sea facing. You wait till I'm bound for a war on an aircraft carrier, and then you get swept off to some far flung planet with him. <laughs> Top marks are not a hero, man. I would do anything. Do you love him? Yes. Give each other hope in the edge of nowhere. Don't do this, Rick. You think I didn't look for dirt on him? I did. And there's nothing. Great. Did you fall for him? He did everything right. And you dove through a hole in the universe for me. <laughs> Is this good? <laughs> what is this art? Fuck the writers. <laughs> Cursed. God damn it. That was so sweet, but so painful. <laughs> How? I've been waiting for that for three seasons. How did that hurt? Why does that feel so conflicting? <laughs> God damn it. I can't with these writers, man. <sighs> Andrew was a PhD in psychology. Now he's a specimen. It's a lovely room. <laughs> oh. I'm Gideon Malik. I advise the president's staff. And I want to assure you that we're working with S.H.I.E.L.D. to do everything we can to help you. It strikes me that no one's asked if you even want treatment. They haven't asked your opinion on the situation at all, have they? I'm scared to hear it. <laughs> All they see is a killer. This is an invading alien contagion which S.H.I.E.L.D. has known about for quite some time. We agree on more than we don't. I can help you, Dr. Garner. Guys, are you sure this is the right area? That's the place. Well, there are no inhumans being held here. Like what got now. brought in then? Well, as far as a cure, not in here anyway. If they're not working on a cure in there, then what are they doing? I'm not positive, but those look an awful lot like fish oil pills. I'll look. There's no better time to be a hacker, really. A human on the planet. Kids have computers in their pockets, you know? Stealing candy from a baby, you're stealing their parents' credit card information. Okay, I'm gonna grab some coffee. I'll have a cup of tea, please. <laughs> okay. Friend Mr. Banks has just showed up, and I do not have a handkerchief to cover my face. And that would be weird anyhow. Copy that. Playing the odds. Giving Terrigen to as many people as they can. They're not trying to cure in humans. They're, they're turning them. What the fuck? This is awful. Now it's you who needs to convince me. Convince you? That you're not Hydra. Otherwise, you're never leaving this room again. <laughs> Shit. Getting the truth regardless, so this is your final chance to come clean. What's wrong with you? Stop lying. Why don't you tell me who you really are, who you work for? What the hell is wrong with you? Look at you. Don't playing games. I wasn't playing games. You really think this emotional appeal is going to work right no, now? No, because you have no emotions. Or even sadder, you didn't plan to sleep with me. But you just have such deep issues that you stopped trusting me as soon as you did. You lied to me. Man, I don't know. Are you torturing me? Is that the idea? <laughs> At the writers. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out what to say. I want to apologize to you. Damn. He killed your friends in cold blood. I'm sorry. I should have known. I should be thanking you. Well, you put those bullets in him when you did. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> Pain. Listen, Steve, you seem like a really good guy, and you were spot on about not being able to trust me, just wrong about why. See, I'm not very good at computers. <laughs> <laughs> he brought him a tea, too, I think. That didn't look like coffee. Poor guy. <laughs> Coming as fast as I can, though. I just read his shirt. <laughs> of course we don't keep any You're always one step ahead. Idiot, but I thought you were different. Well, stop with the mind games. In the back of my mind, I always had one finger on the eject button. That's because you're incapable of anything else. No. Tahiti. So I was hoping against all hope that today you would confirm a high-level source from within S.H.I.E.L.D., but you claim you have none. That's the only right. other possible way that you could know about that is if you got your intel from Hydra. So why don't you share your source? I'm not she unknowingly helping? To be honest. I did fall for you, Phil. You were stabbed through the heart. You must derive sadistic pleasure in doing the same to At others. At least I didn't use the story of my dead husband to sell the idea that the ATCs outcut the melodrama. Does she not know? Of your compound confirmed. What are you talking? She about? doesn't know. 
They're inside Roz, so you know what they found. No one's allowed on those floors for risk of infection. She doesn't and know. The contaminant is a cure. No, that's, that's not what we... From Malik. Excuse me. Ah, uh, so... I know the name, industrial, he served on the World Council. They just never he knew. More than a decade. Work with them before it too. Okay, all right. So he's behind it all. He gave me the Tahiti intel. So now we know he's Hydra. Man, <laughs> they're good at throwing me back and forth. Like, they have me good, but they're like, oh, don't trust them. I'm like, shit, do I trust them? And then, <laughs> you should trust them. Oh, yeah, I should. Oh, they betrayed you. Oh, damn it. Oh, no, they're good. <laughs> oh, so high level staff are aware <laughs> very clearly oh my god god damn it why can't a random organization we don't know be on our side it's just not a fair fight your batons that's your game changer that was interesting <laughs> oh cool oh yes i love it <laughs> let's go bobby hell yeah <laughs> i can get them out or sell them out uh, please believe that I don't know what's going on. We need answers, both of us. All right. <laughs> I liked it the I liked the route they took with this because I do like Rosalind. I just didn't, I didn't fully trust her. Ah, <laughs> damn good writers, but they're evil. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go. Come with me. I'll get you out of here. If you're worried you can't trust me. Worry on the move. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, she contacted him. I was don't like, okay. <laughs> I thought maybe he was like a double double agent, but no, no. He just he follows Rosalind and probably knows less than she does, so that makes sense. Only people of that floor probably are aware. Oh god, that took a second to process in my brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell of an entrance. I'm hardly ever impressed. I'm at a loss for words. I left those men there to kill you, cut through them like cake. They had to locate this place. You this might be Hydra's second head that's grown right next to me. I like how he's working within that metaphor. Do you know much about our history, our origin? He didn't even know he was a Nazi. <laughs> that the ultimate power was not in this world, but Hydra. Well, we're much, much older than that. Hydra is actually ancient as this stone. Assuming it's not man-made, that's like millions of years. Writing stones like it have been passed down for a hundred generations. A monolith that possesses... Ah, the I was wondering. <laughs> Sweet, Hydra's like the behind-the-scenes then of this whole Illuminati angle they're taking with like the behind-the-scenes of the monolith. An inhuman was born on this planet, destined to rule it, and so they banished it from the Earth to a distant planet. Oh, is that the thing we saw by chance? I almost wonder if it's like Apocalypse, but he's a mutant, not an Inhuman, so probably not. But I'm just thinking in terms of like ancient power like that. Oh, I see what they did there. <laughs> That's actually fucking dope. I like how they tie that together. That's really cool. Holy shit, dude. Okay. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Because we're closer than ever to the final chapter, we're going to write it ourselves. But you don't have to believe me. They've been able to accomplish. Getting there and back? They brought someone back. Damn. So the goal is going to be to bring that creature back. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Let's talk. I could use a session with you, Doc. You really could. You really, really could. Some therapy would do him wonders, but he'd end up just hating himself. Which is probably a good thing. Well, you're gonna die with a hole in your chest. You can try to sedate me, but I promise. I want to be like fuck yeah, but it still hurts because it's Andrew saying it. <laughs> Basically, mustard gas. You see, Shield showed us how to turn the monster off. Oh God. Now we want to know how to turn that back on. So his instincts oh, uh, kick in. I knew all the best ways to oh. bring Melinda Payne. Ugh. May thinks I'm a monster. You actually become one. I guess we know her type. Oh my god, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's just shut up. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck.
Fuck you, Ward. Somebody requested to come in. I mean, he's always requesting to come in, because it's his house. How dare I not let him in every room? But <laughs> I think he just likes saying hi to you guys. And more, more so, probably just curious why there's lights on. But in our headcanon, he wants to say hi to you guys. Well, as if it needed to be said, <laughs> that was another great episode for the books. I, I just, I hate these mid-season points. <laughs> not literally, it's just they hurt. And we know we're far from a resolve because it's not the end of the season. <laughs> but there's still going to be so much more complication and more pain to come before the end. And then finales hurt too. Premieres are like the only fuck yeah moments, except the season two premiere killed like three people. Never mind, I'm just going to shut up. I am falsely convincing myself of happiness. This show brings me pain. Who am I kidding? <laughs> that was a good episode, though. Both, both of the ones I watched today, 7 and 8, were great episodes. I think it's really cool how they're bringing in, like, this ancient history of Hydra. Because I always think of, like, Hydra's origin being the Nazis. But the way they kind of worded it in this episode, they use Nazi funding because... <laughs> It's an organization that was happy to fund world domination. So they used they used the Nazis, but Hydra was their own thing even before. And they're almost implying it's like the secret world order, like Illuminati type of shit, you know, but it's Hydra, which I find that to be really interesting. And it makes a lot of sense with how much they actually had control behind the scenes throughout all of the government and everything going on up until Winter Soldier. So that actually makes a lot of sense. And I like that they went with that angle. And it kind of gives us like almost lore, if you will, for Hydra, which I find very fascinating because I don't think S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't think S.H.I.E.L.D. was made until after Captain America movie, like in that time period, like that's about when they were being made, I think, or something like that. But I don't think we ever got the origin of Hydra in that movie. But I do find it very interesting that they're saying that like the origin of them was to find this otherworldly power when... The what if episode, the Captain Carter what if episode, actually goes over that a little bit because they have that giant like tentacle monster coming out of that portal. So it's curious to me now. I almost wonder if in actuality, if that is actually Red Skull trying to pull in this other creature from this planet. Nothing to do with that random dimension they pulled that squid thing from. I don't know. That's really interesting, though. I like that we dove into that, and it made me think of the newer episode of What If. Like, it's it's cool that I can, in this universe, be reminded of something that hasn't even happened yet <laughs> in, in this timeline. I, I don't know. I just find it really interesting, and I love shit like that. And I feel like this is the first episode in a while that genuinely felt like a spy show. Like, we were actually infiltrating, and I love the different coordination. Like, Coulson was being fed all this information while he was just sitting there talking to Rosalind. Like, that was cool enough that he was just consistently being fed this information throughout. Like, he is the boss, because he is. And on top of that, they're just going through the through doors like, Daisy, you got me? All right, open. Like, it, it's just really cool. Subtle, subtle things, but it brings the team together, makes them feel like a fully functioning, you know, gear-turning kind of team. Not just this craziness that is their family side of things. <laughs> <laughs> when, they, when it comes down to doing the work and being the team, like we got to see that in action for the first time in a while today, and that was that was brilliant. I love when they they're just fully fledged, fucking kicking ass in this little spy organization that they are. It's simplistic, but something I really appreciate when they do. And I really like how they tied this all in with not only the ancient Hydra stuff, but this head guy that used to be on the World Co Council. He is the only reason that the ATCU is now working on this stuff, just like he was behind secretly behind NASA and secretly behind S.H.I.E.L.D. even, secretly behind damn near everything. Um, furthermore, he's now behind the ATCU and getting them to get the information he needs on Coulson or whatever the hell to actually bring this other being through. That's a really, really clever way. And I don't think even if you would have showed me Pierce still being alive, I would not have seen this as that being the outcome. They have very like hard to predict outcomes in the show and I always appreciate it because I don't know like I, I feel that I'm very like intuitive and I'm able to like just pick up on a lot of things from my intuition but with this show they have so many like sharp turns that you could never fucking put together ever <laughs> like ever <laughs> especially like even Andrew like I don't think there would have been a single hint towards Andrew like maybe he was more observant in certain scenes or something but like Andrew's Andrew you know like they just, 
I don't know how they do it, but they, they just get me on everything. Everything feels insane, and like it has this utmost gravity to the situations when <laughs> it, it's really not even that big of a deal sometimes. It's just they're really good at writing into these kind of situations. I'm having trouble explaining this, putting it into words, but I just it comes down to me really appreciating the writing in the show. It, it is brilliant. It, it is lovely to watch in, in a painful way. <laughs> it's lovely to watch. I think that the scene with Fitz and Simmons was really well done because I wanted to appreciate that moment because we've been building to it for so long. All I could think about is how complex the, situ the situation they're in is. I couldn't actually appreciate it for what it was because of the thing that's in not only mine, but in the back of Gemma and Fitz's head. What about Will? Like, <laughs> it's such a fuck situation, but I like that they kind of full sent it there with, they didn't just keep playing this like, well, weird, awkward back and forth. They full sent it but it kind of reassured to them that, as he put it, they're cursed. They can't be together, which, ah, they, they just wrote that really well in, in a very painful, painful yet beautiful way. <laughs> painful, but beautiful. Another good way to put the show in a nutshell. I just, I don't know. I think that's where I'm at. I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. I just, I'm hurt, but intrigued, hopeful, cautiously optimistic. I think that's where I'm at, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for another half-assed discussion on <laughs> half-assed reaction. <laughs> but my emotions feel half-assed today, thanks thanks to this show. So that's where it's put me. But I'm done today. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Can you say thank you, patrons? You know what? That wasn't enough syllables, but. We'll go with it. I believe you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>